Today is the World Hypertension Day. And this year's slogan is measure the blood pressure accurately, control it, and live longer. So I'm Dr. Manmeet Bhatia, a neuro neurologist and a sleep specialist. And here I'm going to discuss the relationship between sleep and high blood pressure. So you might think that how are these related? In fact, all kinds of sleep issues, whether it is sleep deprivation or poor sleep, snoring and sleep apnea, circadian rhythm like jet lag, shift workers, all of these conditions can result in stimulating a system or activating a system in our body called the sympathetic nervous system. This is something like a stress-related response and can raise your blood pressure. In addition, there could be hormonal changes which cause something like cortisol, adrenaline, which can also cause a high blood pressure. And then we have some of these disorders can cause inflammatory response in the body can result in high blood pressure. In fact, it's known that 40 to 50% of patients with high blood pressure can have a coexisting sleep apnea. And those with resistant hypertension, the number goes up to 70 to 80%. So thus, it is very important to identify, get this addressed, so that if you improve the sleep, the blood pressure will also get controlled. And of course, one will live a healthier life and a longer life. So adopt healthy practices for sleep, identify the issues, if required, meet an associated specialist so that you prevent the uh, arrival or getting the blood, high blood pressure and those who have the high blood pressure can achieve a better control. So I do hope that this is uh, some information is useful for those people who have high blood pressure or those who have sleep issues to see that how these are related and how controlling one will help the other. Wishing everybody a long and a happy healthy life.